You've seen wrestlers hit their finishers in the ring, but have you seen them do it in music videos? During the Hulkamania era, Hulk Hogan was so famous, he started a music video with Dolly Parton called Headlock on My Heart. The story is that Dolly falls in love with Hulk Hogan, who is a wrestler named Starlight Star Bright. She goes to see the Hulkster in action, and during Hogan's match, he performs his iconic finisher, the leg drop. This allows Hulk Hogan to get the 1-2-3, and not only does he win the match, but he also gets the girl. Now this is just awesome. We all know that the rapper Bad Bunny has gotten into the WWE ring and beaten people up. However, wrestlers have appeared in Bad Bunny's music videos and done the same thing. In the song, Key and Two Ares, Bad Bunny is a trucker and makes a stop at a diner with his friend. They end up getting into some beef with a motorcycle gang and leave. The bad guys decide to chase them down, which they soon regret. Bad Bunny pulls his truck over and confronts the motorcycle gang. Just as Bunny starts to get surrounded, out comes Stone Cold Steve Austin. Nobody with my bunny. The Texas Rattlesnake acts like it's an episode of Monday Night Raw and begins cracking open a can of you-know-what. The best part is when he nails one of the guys with a stone-cold stunner. After everything is clear, Austin and Bunny celebrate with beers, but just like what Donald Trump learned at WrestleMania 23, you can't trust a rattlesnake, and Stone Cold hits Bad Bunny with a stunner to end the music video. That's cool, but check out the unedited clip. Well, in the 90s, WCW teamed up with the band Stuck Mojo to produce a music video for the song Rising. The video features several wrestlers, and the whole thing takes place in a wrestling ring, so you know some moves are gonna be hit. During the song, Billy Kidman hits his finisher, the Shooting Star Press, to the outside of the ring. I hope someone caught him. A little later, Diamond Dallas Page steps inside the ropes and begins beating everyone up in slow motion. He delivers several moves before nailing a guy with the Diamond Cutter. Not only that, but right after hitting one cutter, the WWE Hall of Famer hits a second dude with another cutter to end the music video. When Rob Van Dam joined TNA, or Impact Wrestling in 2010, he needed some new entrance music. A musician named Cushionator created a song called The Whole Effin' Show, and it also got a music video. In it, this guy, Cushionator, smokes something that makes him pass out and hallucinate that he's in the ring with RVD. There's also a small army of other wrestlers who want to beat up Mr. Monday Night. Van Dam then proceeds to bust out his signature moves, like the Rolling Thunder, the Monkey Flip, Split-Legged moonsault, and just about everything else. However, at the end, RVD gets on the top rope and executes his finisher, the Five Star Frog Splash. Luckily, Crushinator snaps out of it at that point. This one's kind of interesting. In the music video for a song called The Endless, Tommy Dreamer is trying to chill at his house, but his next door neighbors are jamming as loud as they can. When they refuse to lower the volume, Dreamer takes matters into his own hands and starts beating the crap out of everyone. And I mean everyone. He beats up the fans and the band. The lead singer tries to crawl away, but Tommy Dreamer isn't done. He and the poor guy end up outside, and Dreamer takes out the musician with his finishing move, the Death Valley Driver. At least Tommy Dreamer is kind enough to do it by some padding. The only thing crazier than all this is seeing WWE wrestlers hit their finishers in public. To watch that, hit the video on screen.